Hello everybody, it's Lucas McIntosh here and I'm back with a brand new retro let's play and today in over the course of seven videos we're going to be having a fun let's play through Mortal Kombat 2 for the Sega Master System. Now as many of you know I absolutely love um, cut down versions of arcade classics and um, I recently picked up Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat 2 for the Master System. Now I've done Mortal Kombat on the channel so I figured I might as well check out the sequel. Anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos, I really appreciate it. If you are indeed enjoying my content and would like to see more, why not hit that subscribe button because that way you'll be instantly subscribed to my channel and notified every time I upload a new video and I've got new content coming each and every single week. Alright, so I just want to start by saying I'm not a Mortal Kombat expert, I'm just fascinated by these, again, cut down arcade titles and I always enjoy how like 8-bit systems they port Mortal Kombat to like these 8-bit systems and these basic, I don't want to say basic as in that's a bad thing, but they always try and put more in to the game than they should. So I'm curious basically how they push the system, in particular how they push the Master System. Now I've had a little play of this and I have to say it looks really impressive. The animations are slightly better. Um, there is unfortunately only two stages and also they've omitted some characters from the roster. I guess due to cartridge limitations, there's no Raiden, no Baraka, no Kung Lao, and there's somebody else I've forgotten, but Johnny Cage as well, yeah, that's it, he's not in it, so it's kind of a bummer really, um, but you know what, we're going to have some fun with this anyway, so let's we'll start off on easy, and this isn't actually a difficult version of Mortal Kombat 2. It's quite simple. I mean, like, I think I vaguely remember playing this when I was younger. Um, I had to repurchase this off eBay because it's, well, to me, it's like a cult classic. Um, and I think I got it for like 40 quid. It's quite expensive, actually, to get this version of Mortal Kombat 2 anyway. So anyway, it kind of follows the same vein as the first game. This time we're fighting in the outworld. Um, you fight your opponents as you would do normally. There's no endurance matches, so essentially it's just a clean fight to the top. It has got Kintaro on, only Kintaro is really, really small. It does have some special moves. It's rumored to have fatalities, um, which it does have, but it says it's got babalities or friendships, but I can't seem to find any move sets for that so if anybody knows any could you please put them in the comment section for me because it says on the back it's got them but I just can't seem to find any but in any case I'm playing the scorpion first just to ease my way into the game and as you can see the enemy AI is a lot better I think it's less dumb uh, more kind of the enemies have got a little bit more bite so even on easy mode this game can be really difficult it's not super difficult, but your opponent will pull up a fight. Right, here we go. Let's see if I can do Scorpion's finishing move. No. So, good news though, I did find my competition pro. I've been harping on about that in my Mortal Kombat Let's Play. Um, I couldn't find it. And you know where it was? It was right down by my telly. You know, I hadn't moved it. I just couldn't see it. I don't know why I couldn't see it. I've done Scorpion's teleportation move. As you can see, I'm in a mirror match already. So it's kind of like the game's foregone, the, the tournament rules in this one. Because normally you fight the competitors first, then you fight Scorpion. Or your mirror match, or whoever it is. It just seems to be totally random in this game. As you can see, again, there are only two places you can fight. There's the pit and the combat tomb. Now, again... This is a cut down version, so I don't expect there to be much, but I would have loved there to be like um, another background or something. Like the Living Forest would have been cool. And also, Jade and Smoke are on the game as well. Don't ask me how, but they are. Right, let's try this again. I can't get anything to work. I can't get the um, special moves to work. I did accidentally pull off Scorpion's finish move by accident. But, you know, I've, I actually know how to do it. You hold down, kick and punch. And you press up and up and then you let go. But it's not working for whatever reason. 
But either way, I'm going to have fun with this, whether I pull off any fatalities or not. I'm just going to get my way through the game. And I'm just going to harpoon my way through a scorpion first. But you get the fight, so that's pretty good. But I just... I, I think this is like double the size of the last game. But I just don't understand why they couldn't have just added in like a few more backgrounds. Maybe made Kintaro a bit bigger or maybe made the sprites a little smaller. I, I get that they're trying to replicate Mortal Kombat 2 in the arcade but there's only so much you can do. To be honest. Oh, I just missed doing the finisher. But yeah, I used to... Um, see this in the arcade and see the arcade version and then I I kind of played I had the Game Boy version we didn't get a SNES till much later I think we may have had Mortal Kombat or something for it a bit later on but we didn't get it till pretty much when I think the SNES was just about to go out a year or so before it was about to go so it was a real shame so I never got to play the arcade version of Mortal Kombat 2 till much later I think I played on Sega Saturn I don't know whether it was the arcade version. I know the guy, that guy TMK, he's done a review of it. Um, he's like a great, it's a great channel. He does like Mortal Kombat and stuff and he reviews every single one. So maybe I'll check out his review again and see if the Sega Saturn one is the arcade version. I have to say though, there isn't a lot here, but they've got Jax's moves in. Um, they've got Molina and Katana's moves. It's great, so... It would have been nice to have Raiden though on. I mean, like, they give him a chest protector. How cool was that? Like, I thought that was a nice touch. Let's try this again. No, can't get it to work. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, Reptile. Now he... Now that is cool. He Reptile is really cool. He's not in the first Mortal Kombat, unfortunately, and that's a real shame. I think he should have been in the Master System version. What I mean is, he was in the other versions, you could fight him, but he wasn't in the Master System. Oh, I've done it! Oh my god, guys! Oh my god, I've just unlocked smoke! Oh my god, I don't know. Congratulations, you have found the passage from the Outworld to the Earth Realm. Now you must battle with an undiscovered warrior from Mortal Kombat 1. Prepare yourself to return to Goro's Lair. Right, I think this is smoke. Wow, I've unlocked smoke. I'm so excited. And I'm actually... He's like a clone of Scorpion now. That's the only thing. I think he might be Scorpion and Sub-Zero. But I'm so in awe, he's kicking my ass. But even if he kicks my ass, that's okay. God, he's... Oh, I'm just speechless right now. I wasn't expecting to do that. Duck. He's tough. I don't know how anyone can beat him. I got him. Oh, no. Wow, did you see that? That was awesome. Get ready. Now you must return to the outworld. Holy crap. That was really impressive. I was not expecting to do that. Oh, God. As you can see, Liu Kang's animations are much better as well. In fact, everyone's animation is much better. It's like when you unlock smoke, you skip an opponent. So even if you lose on him, you'll go to the next opponent. So that's pretty cool. I quite like that. There, so I've beat Liu Kang. You also get six, six continues on this game as you did in the first one. Um, and I should mention that eight, there are eight competitors in this game. I've just done Scorpion's teleportation thing. It's like they've, they included that. That's pretty good. Duck. Okay. But I will be reviewing this and the first game. Um, once I've completed this, so I, I would need to start working on a review basically because I want to. Oh, I buggered that. Oh, there you go, I've done it. Holy crap, I've done I've done this vitality at last. Don't ask me how I did it, but I can't believe I've got that and I've got smoke caught on camera. Wasn't expecting to do that. What was I going to say? Yeah, I'm working on a review because. 
that's kind of what I do on my channel. I do reviews of games which people have given a bad press. Um, but to be honest, I hear good things about Mortal Kombat for the Master System. In fact, I quite like it. It's a bit choppy, but it is essentially a somewhat half decent port of Mortal Kombat. Um, now, most people might say Mortal Kombat 2 is like nothing like Mortal Kombat 2 should be, but I think for what it is, it's okay. I mean, yeah, okay, a few more characters could have been included, a few more backgrounds, but I like it. I mean, I, there's only two stages, like the pit and, as I said, the combat team, but the pit looks absolutely amazing. The fact that they put an effort, at least they, you know, put some effort into it this time around. Oh my god, Kitana's a real beast. I love the way that she bows though when she beats you. That's pretty cool. There you go. Scorpion wins. Nice. Okay. Duck. I should mention guys that currently on the channel also I'm doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I've nearly come to the end of that, and I'm getting my butt handed to me, see what I mean? The AI is much better. Yeah, you know, like the AI will kick your ass a lot more. Why do it's difficult for fighting games to do a fighting game on 8-bit, I think. It's not an easy job. I mean, like, I should imagine the developers were, like, given... There's, like... Imagine you've got a square, right? A really small square, and you've got a fit, like loads of things say you've got like 25 blocks oh oh my god i lost <laughs> did kitana just do that what did she do did she blow me a kiss or yeah so imagine you've got 25 blocks and mortal kombat has say mortal kombat 2's got 50 blocks and you have to choose 25 blocks out of 50 to put in so it can't be an easy job personally right i lost there took me off the ball but as you can see, this is only easy mode, and the opponent's right. I might be able to unlock Jade, but I can't use the punch button. I have to use the kick button. So I will try. So I can only beat it using kicks. Let's try. Oh, God. We can do this all day, love. Shit. Oh, my God. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm trying to get Jade on camera. I'm not bothered about beating her right now. I just want to get her on. Like, show that I've unlocked her. Like, Smoke and Jade are not playable in this game, or I don't think they are in any Mortal Kombat game, so... I think... I can't use Punch on them, but I can press Punch in general, maybe. Come on. Come on, Kitana. See, the, the AI suddenly goes a bit dumb. You can't rely on that move forever. There you go. So if I can just win with... If I can just do the same thing that I've won, and I've unlocked Jade. Well, I haven't won the whole thing, but I've unlocked... I've won the battle anyway, and I've unlocked Jade. That's, that's the plan. I mean, like, on the arcade, I know they had the Living Forest, where Jade and Smoke would peek out from behind a tree, letting you know that there's secret ninjas to be found. That was so cool. Alright, come on, Kitana. 